Welcome to this tutorial about down dog. Down dog is done often in yoga classes and it's said to be a resting pose, but it's not always that easy. For today's practice, you may want a, a blanket to pad your knees. I won't be using one, but it's a really good idea. We'll be spending a lot of time on our knees. And you will also need two blocks. A down dog is said to be a resting pose, but there's a lot going on. And this quick tutorial is not going to teach you everything about down dog, but it should help you feel more comfortable in down dog. And the real aim of down dog is length in your spine. It's not really about stretching out your hamstrings. Come to a tabletop position with your shoulders over your wrists, slight bend in your elbows, unlike me, and your hips over your knees. We're going to start with a few rounds of cat cow. So inhale, arch your back, moving really slowly, opening through your heart. Exhale, round your back like a cat, pulling in those abs. Continuing on your own speed. Have your abs in slightly on your inhale. Really look within as you're arching your back like a cat. A few more times. Just moving slowly, warming up our spine. And you want your hips right over your knees. You don't want to be forward and you don't want to be backwards. And you want to keep them there as you begin to walk your hands out on your mat. Bring your head even with your biceps. Ab is engaged. You're opening up those shoulders, opening up through your chest. It's a little warm up for our down dog and it's called puppy pose. A few deep breaths here, warming up our body getting ready to move into our down dog. And walk your hands back so that they're underneath your shoulders. My first tip for you are to keep your fingers really wide, really pressing into your index finger and your thumb and turning your hands out to the side and just notice when you practice down dog this way how it feels to you. Pull your toes under, engage your core, just lift your knees off the mat and hover a second. And slowly begin to bring your hips up towards the ceiling or the sky. Your head is level with your bicep, your ears are level with your bicep and keep your knees really bent for me here. We're thinking about length through our spine. And come back to your tabletop position. Once again, walk your arms out along your mat, coming back into puppy pose, taking a short break. We're going to walk our hands back underneath our shoulders. We're going to go into down dog for our second tip. And that is to gaze down between your feet so that your neck is in a neutral position. It's not arching forward. It's not falling into your body. Your neck all the way up the spine, all the way to your hips are one nice straight line. And if you find this pose to be difficult on your wrists, you might want to elevate your hands onto blocks, as I'm doing here. We're lifting our hips, keeping our knees bent.
You take your hands into spidey hands to take some of the pressure off of your wrists. And this can also help if your hamstrings are really tight and you have a hard time in down dog. And it also can help to take your hands as wide as the mat to loosen your shoulders. And walk your hands out again, back into puppy pose. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulder. And this time you're going to think about all the things we did before and you're going to think about engaging your core as you come up too. So pushing our hips back towards the ceiling or sky, knees are bent. Slowly straightening the legs if you can or pedaling out your legs, bending one knee and then the other. And remember the point of this, of down dog, is not to get your heels to the floor. It's absolutely okay if they don't. But as you get warmed up, you might find that they come closer and closer. Come back down to your tabletop. Take the tops of your feet on your mat and then bring your hips back towards your heels. Coming into child's pose, giving your back a little rest. The next time we go into down dog, once again, we're thinking about all the things we started with. We're really pressing into your index finger and your thumbs to take the pressure off of your wrists. Gazing between your feet, engaging your core. And this time, think about energetically bringing your hip flexors towards your core or your core towards your hip flexors. That's a very active pose. And you're going to feel it a lot more in your upper body than you will stretching your hamstrings, really. And as we're warmer, as you can see now, I can get my feet completely on the ground. You may not be able to, perfectly okay. See, I have a nice long back. My ears are by my biceps. Coming back down to tabletop back into puppy pose. Modifications are arm is wider than mat. If your shoulders are very tight, feet as wide as the mat, if your hamstrings are really tight. And for our last tip, we're going to go into this and we're going to bend our knees really deeply, deeply and then straighten out our legs. And you may find, again, that your heels by this time, your hamstrings are warm enough and your heels will come down to your mat or the floor. And if they don't, that's great. It's not the purpose of this pose. So bend your knees really deeply as if you're going to touch your mat with them and then send your hips back Abs are engaged, hip flexors are coming towards your abs, upper body is activated, legs are activated. It can also help to have a block between your thighs when you do down dog. That will help you activate your legs. Take your hips back towards your heel into child pose. I really hope that these tips will help you find down dog more comfortable. And if you want pose tips on other poses, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you want. We're gonna go into a little cat cow again here just to release our back again. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round. A few times on your own breath. Maybe with a little bend in your elbows, unlike me, I have to watch that. We don't want to be locking out those elbows.
You can take that block, put it between your thighs, really squeeze into the block, really activate those legs. And then just let that go. Feel whether or not, if your hamstrings are really tight, try taking your feet as wide as a mat. See if that feels better to you. Come on back to tabletop. Go through cat cow again a few times. I really hope that these tips make your down dog much more comfortable for you. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you know when new videos are released, normally on Fridays. And drop me a comment if you'd like to see another pose broken down. I plan to do more yoga basics and breakdown poses for you with more tips. Down dog could be a lot of videos. It's something you're going to see a lot. Bring your hips back to your heels and your arms along your side and just release all the effort. Let that go. I actually suggest doing my wrist warm up before you start this practice because we're getting into our wrists a lot when we're in down dog. So that's a nice warm up for this practice. And bring your hands to the mat. Slowly put yourself up into an easy seated position. Notice how you feel. Notice if your spine feels a little stronger a little straighter. Notice if your hamstrings feel a little more open. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.